Hey all, Johnny Mullet here with a, another video on the Craig L231 base station. Let's check the time here. 7.02, yep. She's still working the old flip clock on the old Craig. It's still accurate. All right. As you see, I now have... The Anytone Quad 6 installed in the Craig base station. On my previous videos, I had a Bearcat 980 in there. But if you notice, I don't have an amplifier anymore. On my last video, my base station was upgraded and my antenna got raised to 45 feet. Here's the problem. I started getting messages from my neighbor saying that the TV was cutting out and losing reception between 8 and 10 p.m. every night. So I didn't want to be that guy. I called her, I talked to her. I keyed up my radio with the uh, bone stock Bearcat and no problem. I went to sideband, keyed up, talked, no problem. As soon as I turned on the kicker, which I used to have, she said, yep, the reception went out, it pixelized and no picture. As soon as I unkeyed, it came back. So, I had to lose the kicker because I am not gonna interfere with somebody else with my hobby. I mean, there are things I can do to make the situation better because she's got an old analog antenna on a digital TV, blah, blah, blah. You know, CB equals constantly buying. But anyway, what I decided to do was, since the Boomstock Bearcat wasn't really cutting it for me to you know, talk 50, 80, 100 miles away, I took my quad six and went ahead and installed it in the Craig chassis. So there you go. Now the problem I ran into was the bone stock power supply for the Craig was not enough power to run that uh, Craig, but I already had a 30 amp power supply down there if you see that big brown box, that is a old school Johnson 30 amp power supply with a speaker built in. Pretty old school technology. Um, as far as CV radio stuff goes, I tell you what, I'm way behind the game here. I need to update you as you see here. Yep, I got the new Radiotity Q40. I had the Quad 6, I had a Quad 5, I haven't done any, any reviews or anything like that. But anyway, I just want to update you. I already updated the radio, but I kind of want to go full retard on this, Craig. And uh, let me show you what I'm going to do here. So don't get me wrong, I really like the green LED display. It's pretty cool. I mean, I got the green LED light and the clock and the green LED light down there. And of course, you know, these uh, modern radios, you can change the color. Red, yellow, purple, cyan, white, blue, blue. Why would anybody use blue? That is the absolute worst color for, mm, don't even get me started on the blue shit. Oh, we already lost it. Let me go back. Color. Green. So, the red works too. I kind of like the red. So, what I want to do here is I still have the original red LEDs that uh, were installed in the clock and down below. And I also found this uh, LED strip. Um, I've had this thing here for a couple years. It's like a, a trailer rear marker light thing. It's an LED strip. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this case apart. And I'm going to get a back glow behind these knobs. These non-functional knobs. To uh, really, really set this thing off. I'm going to go full retard on this thing. So stand by. Alrighty then, we got the Craig base station all ripped apart right now, and you can see the Anytone Quad 6 in there. Um, <clears throat> the original lights I had, the LEDs, 
and I got this LED strip here I was talking about and we're gonna put this right behind all the knobs and hopefully sorry about that we're gonna put this strip right here behind the knobs and hopefully that light will shine through the front you know what I mean so we're gonna get this thing wired up and uh, we're gonna hook it up and see what happens so if you see now, I didn't get the full effect I was looking for, but uh, I got the uh, red LED light here in the corner. I got a red LED glow through the speakers. And you can see through the knobs, I got more red LED. So I'm thinking this is gonna look pretty good here. Let's see what happens when I get all together. I think the one behind the clock's just a little bit bright. I'm gonna back that one up and uh let's see what it looks like when it's all together Alrighty, guys after a little bit of uh trial and error and uh messing around i think i finally got the effect i was looking for so there we go the craig l231 base station converted to a modern radio let me go ahead and Fire the beast up. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. I like the red. I mean, the green was nice. The red, I mean, on camera, it's kind of different. But uh, in real life, it, uh, it looks good. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. Have a good one.